is Adam Rayner, and uh, well, you're looking at a man wearing a modified Addix hoodie, because, uh, well, that's Michael. Right, oh, geese, modified Addix, man pointing at him. This is the one, the only Mr. Marcos. Uh, yeah, fine, thanks, Adam. Now, this gentleman is a Nazarene, meaning you're a top end, uh, you're a shifter and fixer of bits of wood. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Carpenter, yeah. Uh, wood butcher. Wood butcher. He <laughs> does really know about woodwork and boxes, and well, the three dudes here, as uh, Josh there and uh, uh, Chris actually tell me around in it. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> And Mike, well, you guys, uh, you've come and got involved in uh, the proper dropper scene for the first time today, or have you been doing it much before? First time, for the first time today, yeah. Cool, so uh, they've, they've kind of got involved, but tell us a little bit about proper droppers. It's a competition for car high fives to see how loud they go, isn't it? That's right, yes, yeah, so at low frequency. It's not so just it's, one thing. It's not just how loud is it? No. It's how loud is it at a specific deep, deep, deep tone? That's right, yes, it is, yeah. Not just one tone, but some like a collection of Yeah, we've got four set frequencies of um, 40 hertz, yes. 33, 25, and 20 hertz. Bloody hell now. 40 hertz, just for the people who know what hertz is, is cycles per second. Now, when you buy a car amplifier and you go, bass boost on it, <laughs> you're laughing disdainfully. Wow, that's a total piffle in your world, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Piffle, because do you know the frequency that it all set at? 45 hertz, probably. You got it, dude. Yeah. You got it. And from your point of view, that's irrelevant. Yeah, for PD it is. It's five hertz <laughs> above where a bass begins here. Something I wanted to see done forever, but you actually do it. You're using this here software, which is Term Lab. Yeah, that's right. And what does it show? We've got um, numbers 132.9. Is that what uh, Josh's car just hit? Yes, it actually did a 135.9 at 25 hertz. That's one single base base 12 with oh 700 watts of power. That is, uh, there's a man with two 18s. Yeah, and you were complaining that this dude's single 12 was nearly as loud. Yes. Yes, and that upsets you. Oh, the point is, it isn't just who's got the biggest woofers. Sorry. 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 Yeah. Or even just who's the most powerful. It's about installation and skill and power supply and... Your batteries, of course, and same yep. thing. All the pieces of the puzzle and fit together. So you test it how long for? Oh, well, for as long as you want, really. No, I mean, how long do you actually play? How long do you have to go for on those tones? They can do it if they can do it for five, se five seconds, 50 yeah. seconds. It's entirely up to them. Is there a 30 second limit? Um, not, not at the moment. They, they usually just do is it until really... they get the loudest they want. Yeah, we, there is a 30 second limit if you're really busy, but right. today is quite relaxed. So, so you just sit there and go... Yeah, we've got the whole day to miss about, so... And you make an average? Yes, an average score. And all the scores are averaged out. There's uh, four set frequencies and the peak. So all five of them scores are added up, and it's your um, average score that determines your position on um, in the competition and on the leaderboards. And tell us about these stickers around your television for Oh, right, OK. These ones here, with the hoodie, was uh, designed by uh, Antoine's team in Europe. So we've got PD in Europe and they designed them ones. These ones are knocked up yourself just to signify that a person has hit a certain dB threshold. Um, I've, what I've done, I've split it into uh, increments of 5 dB. So you've got 130, 135, 140, 145 and so on. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing um, separate scores now for 146, 147, 148 and so on. Because they're the ones that there's an awful lot of blood being put into trying to get there is, TV, yes. you know. And uh, it's a lot of hard, much harder to get louder after you've well, after you done 145. Yes. It takes that much more effort to get the 146, 147 and so on. It's a logarithmic thing. Yeah. So tell us about the sensor that goes in this car because it's uh, strapped to the headrest, not anywhere else. Yes, it's strapped to the headrest. So uh, it sort of signifies or gives you a good idea of the punishment your ears are receiving from your sound system. Um, oh, what we do, we measure 1100 mil from the um, bottom left hand corner of the windscreen to the front of the headrest and then the sensor is put on in that position and we try and keep that as a constant so each car has been measured from roughly the same position all the time. And it's strapped to the headrest then? And it's strapped to are. the headrest, yeah. With these bits facing towards the windscreen. Wow. Yeah. Because this system is about being stuck on windscreens, but you're doing it your own way. You're measuring it. Where your, where's your head yeah. at? Yes. Exactly, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> it's a bit different from DB drag and that. Well, that's DB drag test on the windscreen. Yes. We decided we wanted to see what it's like at your ears. 
And there is a hell of a difference between the scores from each position. That's really cool. Yeah. So what's this thing about them opening the bloody doors during mm. the run? What's that about? Right, when you... Well, if they play the, the system with the car doors shut, they're just relying on the internal cabin space they've got to boost the, whatever frequency they're playing. But as soon as you open the door, you've added another two orders to their sound system, which allows that cabin to play that bass frequency as loud as possible. Two so, orders, meaning? All oh, right, um, an order to me is something that, um, oh my God, here I go, I'm gonna forget, I'm gonna forget for a moment. Oh. That's a really big one, you're talking about, people hear this, it's just, you hear about fourth yeah. order, fifth order, That's seventh right. order band boxes. Yeah. Things that affect It's completely a gone out of my head. Things that affect <laughs> a walkers <laughs> performance. We've yeah, springiness, from... sorry, springiness and mass of yes. the air within the box. Ah. So the subwoofer has springiness and mass, that's yes. two orders. In a sealed box, that'll be a second order box. And the fourth order in a ported box is the port, because again, you've got the springiness and mass of the air within the port being wow. moved about. So that's four Tech. orders. This is getting really hedge. And then, um, well, when, when there's a fourth order so. box in there, when yeah. they open their doors, they turn it into a sixth order. So, so. basically, when you open and close your door, did the phone got louder? Oh yeah, yeah it's not allowed to the door, so it's not allowed to. How many dB did you gain by whacking the door about? Quite a few. Quite a few. Yeah, probably about. Jesus, well, look, we've, uh, we've probably done enough talking for the people watching this. <laughs> Let's actually have a look at what happens on a run. We'll get everything fired up and actually video okay. over another direction. Jesus, okay. alright. Alright, let's get this thing Okay, right, the computer is running. It's showing 103.7 decibels of background noise inside that car. We're now going to hear Marcos shouting through the PA now. Go on, Giza, tell them to get going and watch the okay, numbers rise. Okay, Josh, when you're ready, 25 hertz. 25 hertz, and don't forget to open your door and don't knock the person over who's standing in front of it. Open oh, the door. Open the base, you can't hear it from here. As it comes up, wallop. As you open the door. Okay, a 134.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4. It's getting louder. You did a 134.9, 135.9 a minute ago. Now, if you look down here, there is a frequency bar graph showing you exactly that was centered around 25 hertz. If you look up here, well, the red bit is, uh, well, you can see it got to a maximum of All right, try again. nearly 135. And the oh, green no, bit no. is a movement arrow. It actually tracks up and down. You can see it's a sine wave. Just a bit in the middle of the middle is an oscilloscope. It's a very, very clever bit of uh, sound pressure level display. See, there goes the needle. He has to get bigger than 134 seats. He's opened his door. Oh, very great. Is he going to get bigger? Don't think so. No, I'll leave it at that for the moment. Now, if we come around here. Right. There's a man with the door open. Yeah. We weren't we talking about doing this here twice, but... Uh, how much fun is it actually doing this? Because this is partly like a participation thing, yeah. isn't it? You don't just turn it up and go blur. You have to open the door and hey, press the bell. And keep, keep the sound to make sure that you don't break anything. And, yes. Because you, know, <laughs> you are racing and rallying, which means this is not going to be covered push, by bloody push, warranty. No, you're pushing the sub to its limits. So. Dude, and it has to be said, this is a single base face sub that costs very little. It's 12 inch, 60 pounds. Crazy, crazy. Hell of an advert for it. Thank you very much, chap. All right, no worries. He's backstage, we're actually doing some more runs. Marcos. That's excellent. You did a 131.9 last time, Tell now you've done a 133. The laptop there is just... Uh, excellent. OK, stop. Ooh. A 133.1 as I've said stop as well. Emulated on the uh, telly as we've seen. The score's recorded here. OK, try your 20 hertz again. Now this is deeper than most sound systems can even play. Okay, you did 130.8 last time. Close your door a bit. Close your door a bit more. What's with them shaking and chucking the car about? Open it slowly. Yeah, people are pushing the car panels to try and just push that air to make it get a bit louder. Gotcha. No, 130.4. No, it's not going to do it. So basically the car is trying to burst. Yes, yes. And they're trying um, to stop it bursting by pushing it. Yeah, we're, by pushing the different panels, they transfer the pressure of the air around the car. So it, it might move around and hit the mic a little bit harder when they do it. And you've seen a big so, heavy shove correlate with whoop, up in their spill on the meter time yeah, and time again. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah. That some is so cars cool. like to be pushed, some don't though. Very serious disclaimer. This stuff is dangerous. So is motorsport. Okay, right. We're going to find out a little bit about the different classes of this stuff uh, because you don't want to be going with a single 12 inch woofer in the boot up against somebody wearing six 15s, like a set of headphones in a wall behind their head. Just before we explain what all the different classes are, let's uh, show the lovely viewers what it is you've got to take away because basically you've done a bunch of testing and you get issued right here with this stuff here. Tell us about this, what you got here. Uh, so this is my certificate now telling me what my system will run at. Uh, tell me what I peaked at 135.9 and then um, how many decibels I was doing at the uh, set um, at frequencies. And peak frequency is the one that That's reverberates the best in your car. Yes. And your total average is 133.62, which is twice as loud as a handgun going off continuously. Did you know that? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, People are so pleased when you get the boom comparison because these numbers are insane. The energy yeah. of these things are ridiculous. You know, what you've got in there is really efficient, but but this is a bit that you're really thrilled with, isn't it? Yeah, anybody can see 135 dB, because in actual fact, you're cracked all but 136. So, uh, yeah. how happy are you to have got oh, that? I'm thrilled with that. It's been Excellent. definitely worth coming down and getting it tested. And it's definitive, anybody down the pub. Anyone down the pub, I can just pull this out and uh, <laughs> show that to them. What the scientific boss man didn't explain, though, is the incremental stuff about loud and just how bloody loud that is because you know your yeah. mum is right 900 watts and twice as loud as a gun going off but the important thing mum is it won't hurt your ears because it's based the dangerous thing of those flaming bullet tweeters in your doors if your ears ever ring like turn it down okay? oh yeah no them, them bullets are they're, they're, they're dangerous mate yeah. they're dangerous yeah but the face is cool thank you very much well, we're now in a uh, rather lovely Volkswagen van belonging to the Street Base Mafia, which we're using as like a mobile studio in it. And Marcus, tell us what are these different classes? Because that guy had like one woofer that we filmed in the end. Okay, yes. And um, yet there are some guys who've got these stupefying, humongous. What's in, what's in this? On the, what's that blue thing on the other side of that window? Oh, that's, um, that's got eight 18s, I believe, in that. So what does yeah. that mean? 18 inch Oh, sorry, woofers. 18 inch subwoofers, yes. Yeah. God, eight of them. Eight of them. And, and they've got magnets, amount. the weight of a small child each. Yeah, most probably. <laughs> and, and I have heard it, it's incredible. Cool. So what class would he be in? What, what sort of group? Um, right, in the walled classes, we've actually split them in between power categories. So you've got Ooh. up to 6K, a yeah. manufacturer's rated up to 6K, yeah. and over 6K. And, and that, K meaning thousands? Thousands of watts of power. Thousands yeah. of watts, so you're not measuring in 100 watts, 200 watts. No. You're talking in kilowatts. Kilowatts, like yes. Freaking toaster. Yeah, and it's a manufacturer's amp rated of oh, the kilowatts it produces. Okay. So if they're actually squeezing the heck out of it, ready to blow it up and getting twice the power out of it on the edge of death. They can do that, it's up to them. As long as it, part of the it's based on um, 6,000 watts RMS at 14.4 mm. volts at one ohm. Wow. If it kicks out 7,000 volt, uh, 7, watts um, at half an ohm, I don't care. As long as the manufacturers yes. have said it kicks out 6,000, that's what that's what it would be. In. So it's getting pretty but that, That's got about 10k in it also, I think. 10,000, yeah. 10 kilowatts, that's enough base to fill the elbow hole. Yeah, so that would be put into what we call walled plus. Whoa. So how many classes are there altogether? Um, there's eight classes. And what if I start in, what is that, what's that called? Uh, right, well, Boot Boomers 1 is based on a single 8 or a single 10 inch sub uh -huh. in the boot of a car. Right. Uh, boot Boomers 2 is 2.8s, two 2.10s two and 1.12. Oh, yeah, or yeah. Yep. Uh, boot so this is essentially about the amount of surface area of woof. Sort of, yes. Sort of, but, yeah. but you're giving it rules. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you're up against people with similar amounts of power. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, there's no power limits in the boot classes or the noble either. Oh, really? So Boot no. Boomers 2 could be two... It could be two ten. It, it could be two tens with a thousand watts each, or it could be two tens with four thousand watts each. Going into, yeah, but we haven't had that yet. So. Yeah, wow. Well, <laughs> there are yeah. some ridiculous, ridiculous loudspeakers out there. Yeah. What is the craziest subwoofer on the market that you see going through your lanes? The craziest subwoofer I've seen. Uh, you've heard the SMDs, the Steve Mead design ones, that yes. one with the double stack magnet. Yes. Um, sorry, the dual Motors, yeah. double stack magnet, or whatever it is. Um, Oh, you've had the Ground Zeros going through, it's a pretty heavy bits of kit. Um, the DC Level 6s. Yeah, so what does, what does that mean? It means that there's five others below it? There's five others below it, yeah. Oh, Most dear. of the people use DC Level 4s. Really? Um, 
because they're, they're the most affordable and they do produce yes. the numbers as well. Wow. And um, what's the biggest score you've ever had in proper droppers at any frequency? The biggest score, and um, we've had two people do over 160 dB, and um, that was um, Beam. that was Mark Smith's Volvo did 160 dB plus. Yes. And oh no, I forgot his name now. How can I forget his name? Is that uh, Wayne Team, Higley? Wayne Higley of Team Hurt Team Hurt the Diction there from yes. North, aren't they? Yeah, they did a 160 dB plus as well. Wow. So, and it just so happens um, both cars, both systems have got the same sort of average. So they're both on the top yeah. of the pile at the moment in joint position. Um, if this year they went up against each other though, it would change because I'm now going by the tenth of a DB score Ooh, against it. Really? Yes. So yeah. at that level, it's every little bit matters. Yeah, I used to do the loudest at 20 hertz would be the yeah. winner, but I've um, changed it round now. To be a little bit fairer. Yeah. It evolves slightly. Yeah. Well, Marcus, congratulations on having the cojones to actually get out there and create a new format. All oh, right. This you. is so exciting. I. Uh, did tell the base mechanic all about this, um, and also there is a certain other company out there that makes woofers in Miami that uh, right. might be interested. But in the meanwhile, um, thank you ever so much. That's okay, you proper droppers. And how much does it cost? Right, most events are only five pound to take part. If it's a trophy event, it's ten pound to take part. Uh -huh. And I've no idea how much it costs when I do a joint event with DB Drag. Yes, because uh, Darren runs it all, not gotcha. me. So. And that's Decibel Drag Racing, which is the American format that's been running for very many yes. years all over the world. Yes, I have an enormous amount of respect for that format. It's, uh, cool. it's what I started off doing. Yes, and I had to go earlier on today. I've done a one four seven point five with my three JBL twelves. That's it. How <laughs> many countries are you now in? Uh, Oh, how many countries are mine? Um, as as official, as officially, that I know of, um, you've got the Europeans um, in the Netherlands, uh -huh. and you've got Australia. Cool. Um, but I've heard that people in South Africa have been giving it a go, yes. but haven't officially contacted me to make a start. Yes. Um, Trinidad are interested, a guy called Max von Cyborg. Yes. Um, and a few people in America have tried it. But the Americans are having trouble getting around the low 20 hertz stuff. And yes, because they blew stuff up. Yes, they blew some of this stuff up and, and got didn't the didn't like it. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, that oh. is a place to finish it. <laughs> the British base is baddest. They blew stuff up and got the hump. Uh, so we're like that Jaguar ad. We're obsessed yeah. by power. Just a little <laughs> bit wicked. Marcus, proper drop of smiles. I love you, man. All right. Cheers, guys.